So, in order to do that, let's make another if statement. So if rotation axis rotation x y equals equals rotation rotation axis not rotation y what am I doing rotation axis dot mouse y uh, close bracket, open brace, close brace rotation y minus equals input dot get axis open bracket mouse y times that by sensitivity sensitivity y times that by times that delta time and this is doing the same thing as input dot x but this time it's gonna be work it's gonna make us look up and down rather than going making a 360 turn and that statement and let's put original rotation equals y quaternion equals quaternion quaternion um, dot angle axis rotation y dot comma vector free dot right And then we're going to set its local uh, local rotation as well. Transform dot local rotation equals original rotation time set by y quaternion. Close that. Excellent. Save it. Now, if we go back to Unity, and this time, if we go back to the main camera and make sure the axis is set to mouse Y, we should now be able to look up and down. There we go. But the problem is, at the moment, we can make a full 360 turn looking up and down. We don't want that. We want to limit it. So. Let's go to the top where we defined our minimum y, change that to 45, no, 25, and change its maximum to 25 as well. Let's save that, run it. If it sometimes doesn't work, just click on the little arrow and reset the script sometimes. There we go, it's still not working, that's a bit strange. Okay. Let me stop this. What's going wrong? Ah, put the Y next to the maximum. But in in order to make it work, we need to define a new function. It's going to be called clamp angle. So let's start with static. Let's see if I can spread it right. Static. Oops. Function. Clamp angle with a capital C and a capital A. Open, bra uh, open bracket angle comma minimum comma maximum close bracket we're going to define this as a type float 
open curly brace close curly brace if open bracket close bracket open curly brace close curly brace angle is less than minus 360 then we want to set angle to, e to equal to plus 360 so angle plus equals 360 then if angle is greater than 360 we want to set the angle back to 360 so we're going to start minusing it down so it's going to be angle minus equals 360 then we're going to need to add a return function so return Math F dot clamp open bracket angle comma min comma max close bracket and close it. Now I'm going to explain what that does, but first let's go back into mouse X and we need to add the following rotation x um, equals clamp angle make sure you spell it exactly how you spelled it down there uh, open bracket rotation x comma m uh, minimum minimum x comma maximum x and then close that. Now we need to do the same for the Y. So rotation Y equals clamp angle and uh, open bracket rotation Y comma minimum Y comma space maximum y then close that uh, I'm now going to explain um, more about the clamp angle we just created because before um, when we said the maximum angle is 45 or 25 for the y axis and 25 on the max minimum there was nothing there that would clamp those angles completely so if it's higher than that or lower than that it would stop it in the rotation that it's told you so how it works is basically like if the angle is less than 360 degrees keep uh, incrementing it by 360 until we get back up to within the boundaries these angles are all the same so in this case if y was um, 45 and the maximum y was 50 if it was less than 45 it would keep on increasing it until it reaches 45 and it will stay in that angle only it would not go higher than that it will um, shut itself down basically and say hey I reached my maximum let's stop I can't go any further than this and if the maximum angle was more than f uh, f I don't know uh, what did I just say 45 degrees keep decreasing it until you get back to 45 degrees and then again it's gonna say, itself, say it to itself is hey I'll reach over my boundary again let me reset myself so the player would not be able to make a full 360 turn 
on the y-axis anymore because it will lock positions to 45 and another uh, 45 on the maximum but in our case we're using 25 and 25 so it will not be able to go higher than 25 anymore it's going to lock its positions over there so that solves that problem but the main thing is it's the return mat f dot clamp angles I'm going to explain what if we don't have that this script right now would not be working basically if we remove that line then your clamp angle function does not return anything because we used it in our update function under each the mouse y and mouse x we're telling it to look at the angle if it's higher than that or lower than this then do this and do that and clamp the angle so if the clamp angle does not return anything then the um, X rotation and the Y rotation will never update they will stay still so it's basically saying there's no rotations added to them so it's just gonna stand still and then you can't move which is no good so that's why the return math F is really really important